Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see. But what are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? pass on. Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. You were worried. And you did what you thought you had to. I get it. We both do. The situation was so fucked that, well, there probably wasn't a good answer. Thank you. I... I... No. I could have done more. Marianne was fragile. She needed help, and I... I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. 
I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're going to be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? <laughs>